Hello everyone, this is Eric from Coffee, Beers, and Bowties. I'm coming to you guys today to uh, obviously to brew a little bit of coffee. Uh, today we're going to do some coffee that was sent to me by uh, my new coffee friend, the coffee enthusiast on, on Instagram. And in here I have his 16th and Locust coffee. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about this coffee and my journey with it. Um, it's, took me a couple of days to really make this video because I really wanted to get into knowing the coffee you know kind of making that that relationship between the roaster and then the coffee and then the story behind the coffee so which I thought was pretty was pretty uh, was pretty interesting so um, we're gonna go ahead and get started so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out our uh, what we're going to brew today which is going to be about 30 grams so a story to go along with this coffee this bag is it's almost empty i was supposed to wait to brew this coffee with you guys like a kind of like a first crack but you know the day i got it I, 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 I brewed some coffee so and it's been about a week that i've been drinking on the 16th and locust and so what i will say is that the very first brew that i did i think i over extracted it. And so it didn't give me the taste that I know it has. And so I backed away a little bit and decided to, you know, really take my time and then brew it a couple of different ways until I got it just, you know, perfect. So the first thing I want to say, it's a phenomenal coffee. And of course, most of these videos I make, you know, uh, I say that when it regards to the coffee, but um, with the exception of a few uh, big box, big brands that I bought from the store um, that I didn't like so much and obviously I didn't do a video on those. The ones that I do videos on are coffees that I really, really enjoy drinking. And so this is definitely in my top five coffees of, of, of my coffee journey. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to brew this thing on up. We're going to do 30 grams. And so I was had the uh, opportunity to be able to go back and forth with uh, with S. Dot over at the coffee um, the coffee enthusiast himself, and he gave me his recommended brewing method for this 16th and Locust. And so I made a few modifications. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. So let's go ahead and get our uh, 30 grams. And of course, we're gonna do this with the with the arrow press. Two nine nine point nine, and then one extra bean will put us at 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 thirty at thirty grams. All right, so. There it is. Um, when I was talking to the coffee enthusiast about the backstory of the of the 16th and Locust, I was like, you know, could you could you tell me? And so he gave me his version of how he got you know started in the in the coffee you know space. Um, 15th, 16th, and Locust was a train stop in in Philly and in that area, uh, as he told me um, there were a lot of you know local um, mom and pop coffee shops that he would frequent and um, that's how he got you know into it and so of course I stopped and uh, I wanted to see what that area looked like thank goodness for good old Google Maps and so I went on Google Maps and, and so I try to frame things and put things into perspective you know of the of the individual of the person you know you know what was it like walking down that street maybe in the dead of winter you know what what's going through your mind you know what things are going on in your life you know bills need to be paid so i just try to step back and really put myself inside that person's shoes um and think you know when you name something after it must you know this place this intersection and Philly must have been really important to the coffee enthusiast for him to name his uh you know his flagship 
coffee after uh, after that. And so I think that for him sharing that story with me was, you know, really important. So, you know, I'm vibing with this 16th and the locust all day. Okay, so we have our 30 grams of coffee already measured out. I'm gonna put that inside the, the grinder. And then uh, we're gonna do an inverted brew with the arrow press. Okay, so we've got that thing ready to go. Yeah, that's it, right? That's it, right there. And that's about the consistency, if you guys can see inside of that camera, that I like to have my my coffee when I'm when I'm arrow pressing. Okay, so all right, we're gonna go ahead and put the funnel into the chamber. We're gonna get that coffee in there. I got my, got my little brush. All right, I'm gonna shake that up a little bit so it can settle. All right, and so we're gonna. For this particular brew, I brewed it a couple of different times and I did single filter. This we're gonna do double filter, so I'm gonna rinse this out. Before we go ahead and get this brew done, I uh, just wanted to you know, send a shout out to uh, my family over at The Bow Style. You can check out The Bow Style on Instagram. They're keeping me uh, with all the latest new trends of in bow tie fashion. So of course, naturally we're coffee, beers, and bow ties. Swing over to the website, www.coffeebeersandbowties.com. Got a couple of different videos, got some blogs up, um, join the site, and uh, let me know what you think. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get started. So I have our coffee inside of our arrow press, and then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and introduce some uh, hot water, which I'm brewing right now, which is boiling and it's hot at, at 205. And so we're gonna let this bloom for a little bit. I'll put a little bit of water in there, about there. And we have our paddle. We're gonna go ahead and stir that up, kind of help the, the, broom, the blooming process along. And so talking to the coffee enthusiast, he recommended that we did, if it was 30 grams, he, I think he said a, a one to 16 ratio. Uh, I think that's what he said, one to 16, one to 15, one to 16. But for this particular coffee, um, I like to do a one to 13 ratio, right? And so um, I really like to get the, the the flavor and all the different uh, notes, profile, uh, uh, flavor profiles that's in the coffee. And so having uh, less water works better for, for me. So I'm gonna rinse this off and then fill the arrow press the remainder of the way. And again, this is a double, we did a double filter. The filter's been rinsed already. So we're gonna put that on, lock that in nice and tight. Get that out of the way, get him right there. Okay, give me one second. All right, here we go. We're about to arrow press, so we're gonna Help the arrow press out a little bit. There you go. We don't want the arrow press to do all the heavy lifting. All right. And so there we go. We're set up for success. And, and we're pressing. So the holidays, Christmas is right around the corner. As you, you get all your shopping done, I know we haven't, um, and as you can see behind me, we've got some. Uh, we haven't. We're having a, a another quarantine birthday this weekend. It's my wife's birthday this weekend, and so 
Um, she's originally from New York, and so uh, one of these years we'll make it to Rockefeller Center and do the whole Christmas and New Year's in New York. But for this year, you know, we had to bring the city to us in California. So, you know, we're excited to spend some time together and just be a uh, and just be a family and you know be we're thankful that we can uh, we can spend Christmas this year together so we're pressing we'll take our time with this one and you know we'll be done here in the in the jiffy but I really do appreciate all of the support and love that we've been getting uh, online from you know different uh, you know from different entrepreneurs and you know, coffee enthusiasts, people in the hair and grooming, you know, industry have shown support for, you know, what we're trying to do uh, over here at Coffee, Beers, and Bow Ties. And so we just appreciate you. Now, if there's somebody that watches this and you want to do a, a collaboration and you want to, you know, send us some of your product, whether it be coffee or, you know, maybe some, uh, maybe some beer products or, you know, anything like that, you have some, uh, men's fashion uh, accessories you want us to uh, display and feature for you contact us send us a message you know we are we're not opposed to anything so we're gonna squeeze this on out yeah let's got that hiss going I like to give it a nice squeeze I want to get everything out of there if I can all right and so that's that arrow press and so we're gonna pop this pop this cap off and reveal that almighty famous arrow press puck perfect we'll set that there all right and so we'll bring the scale back over and put that on the put this on the scale and then at this point what we're going to do is uh i'm going to go to 390 i'm going to do a 1 to 13 ratio on what i on what i already have here so we're looking for 390 on the on the display so the more and more I learn the more particular and technical I see that I'm becoming about the coffee and I still have a long way to go but I'm going and so I can uh, I don't think I can go by myself and that's where you guys come in all right we're at 360 370 Three eighty nine point eight three ninety. I overshot it by a little bit, but so that's it. We're gonna grab our lid here. I'm gonna give that a little whirl. Get that water in it. Coffee mix. And we're gonna pour. We're gonna pour some coffee. And there you have it. So thank you to the coffee enthusiasts. Thank you to the Bow Style. We really appreciate, um, you know, everything and talking to you, learning from you uh, industry, you know, professionals. And that's what we're here to do. Coffee, beer, and bow ties, y'all. 16th and Locust. Get some. Oh, man, that's good. Coffee, beers, and bow ties. 16th and Locust. The bow style. It don't get much better than that.